Previously on AI the Somnium Files. Holy shit! I did not expect that is amazing. I did not expect that at all. Ota was stabbed in the side by a kitchen knife or something similar. Ah ah, see? It's just like Okay, so like I don't believe that at all. Ota didn't kill anyone. He didn't kill himself. The policeman is like, ah for nothing, man. We, it's, it's, like that scene, it's like that scene from Spaceballs. Comb the desert. What have you found? We ain't found shit. I can conclude that the knife wound was at least close to being fatal. Even if Ota was still alive on the workbench, he was certainly on the verge of death. Dopamine is a hormone linked to the reward system of the brain. Wait, Snake or Nia Zwanai? Uh oh. <laughs> snake? Is he the psychopath? Half a year later, there's a. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to waste your time. Recap over. Q transition. Oh, wait, wait, why? Wait, did he? Is that a sacro? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there if I go. press something. Oh, no, this is the song that will hype you boys up. This is this is a wholly inappropriate song for this kind of moment. <laughs> okay, carry on, carry on. Carry on. Yeah, this is all depressing <laughs> about Iris. Iris is gonna be red right back. Yeah, she's dead. Oh no. We always went everywhere together, whether it was buying clothes or going to the movies or taking a walk or going shopping at the supermarket. When she was young, she would just hold talking about wrong timing for a song. Dude. Yeah, I, it's exactly what I said. This is the wrong timing for this kind of song. No, this is completely appropriate. <laughs> Her hand was too small to hold mine, and it was two, then three. And finally, she could hold my hand. But eventually, she left my hands altogether. She started crossing her arms, being independent. Wait, don't skip this. <laughs> even though she needed constant attention oh, growing up. I have put a better song. Her Bro, you can't her just keep on skipping room. songs like this. When she was a baby. It's not how it works. Oh, never mind. She felt off the sofa and cried and cried. One day, she tore up her picture book all over the floor here. <laughs> Another time, she drew with crayons all over the window. <laughs> She painted my portrait on Mother's Day. Scratches on the floor, chipped plates, burn marks on the table, stains on the cushions. Everything you see. All of the memory of her. It all holds a memory of her. <laughs> but why? The, the actress actually, the, the actress is doing a pretty good job actually of conveying grief. It's a very good job. Oda was no, one of my students. I taught him in elementary school. No, this is an appropriate song. Oda tried to help Iris and ended up. I don't know what to say. This is very appropriate. <laughs> hey, tell me. Every my entire focus is on this case. Is there anything at all you can tell me? I don't know if this is important, but. No, please. Oh no, it's right. I may have told you this already. I met Renju's wife Shoko twice before. The first time at the wedding, the second time a month ago. That second time was in the waiting room of the prison. Oh, now you choose to tell me this. Chica nugget. Acquaintance of mine from when we were. Oh, I think I know what this is. I visit them a few times a year. By coincidence, I saw Shoko. I don't think she noticed me, but. I recognized her as Renju's wife right away. Yeah, because of the giant freaking bow on the front of her dress. She was there for the same reason I was. To visit one of the inmates. Do you know who? No, I don't. We didn't talk. Which prison? Fuchu. Fuchu prison. I knew it. In Tokyo. <laughs> Fuchu. Prison. I knew it. Things are starting to make a little bit more sense. I'm sorry to have bothered you. <clears throat> I'll be going now. That's so depressing. Oh my god, that's so depressing. Oh my god. I don't <laughs> want to win. Okay. No. Okay, that ruined the mood. Thinking okay. about her. Welcome. There was a mood? <laughs> Sakura is like, there was a mood? Don't Wait, it's Sakura anyway. Please, you, <laughs> you have to oh. catch them. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Okay, your heart will go on. Trust me. Oh, now we can go back to his shoe. Uh, let's go to the diner and see how Ota's, o uh, Ota's mother is coping with, with the death. The place was silent. It was so quiet, I could feel like I could fear the floating dust. Dust empty. You saw a shadow in the corner of my eye. Oh. Is 
This is still wholly inappropriate. This is your fault. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, okay, hold on a second. You didn't take care of Iris. My boy Ota got involved. Date, I looked into the investigation report. Mayumi confirmed Ota's body early this morning. I see. I'm sorry. I want to be alone right now. Did you not hear me? I said leave! <laughs> <laughs> So okay, Dante, goodbye. Let's go. Is She's it... in no state to talk. Yeah. Bye. Is there another set scene coming? I don't know. Yeah, let's go home and see what happens. Yep, she's depressed as well. Damn it. Oh. Perfect time. Uh, about Iris. Oh, sorry. About Iris. Oh, she. Wait, she's traumatized by in this in this one. It, they were, dude, they were both her friends. As in, like this this isn't a traumatized line. No, yeah, no, this isn't a traumatized line. This is the she can talk line, but the oh, dog okay. is the she can talk brunch, but like she's still being trauma. She's still those are still two of her friends that died, you know. Both her friends just. Mizuki must know about Iris Nota. Of course, <laughs> the news was distributed heavily across the internet. Wait, Why are we playing this again? Not no, just no, no, in Japan, no, but worldwide. Three days ago. Mizuki discovered her mother's body two days ago. Her father's oh, this see? morning. It's two not of her the best same friends. thing. Oh, is it? Hmm. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it's the shitty flute version. It is completely understandable that she is at her mental limit. Can I be left alone for a while? Are you okay? <laughs> Obviously, she's not okay, you idiot. Yeah. No, she's not okay. Aiba, contact Abyss. See if they can get Mizuki a good counselor. Understood. She don't need a counselor. She need a boy. No, she needs a counselor. If any boys, are, if the boys are like you. <laughs> whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> well, I need to stop you right there. <laughs> a boy counselor, maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's a pretty good representation of how the day is going. <laughs> He's going really shitty. How Mizuki is feeling right now. Oh, boss is missing. Where did she go? Well, she boss. isn't always here, correct? True. Sakura's gonna come back and be like, what the fuck are you I guys doing? this is Ota's room? No, that's not Ota's room, that's the boss's office. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? I thought it would be easier to talk like this. What do we oh, have to talk about? Kid. What? Did you notice your the iPad AI yes. looks very much like the boss? That's probably because yeah. the the two of them share like the same face facial model. What's summer? Yeah. That's not true. Huh? I was curious like, about some research. Purpose, Wait, what did we do... relax the song yet? About <clears throat> number eighty nine. <laughs> No, he hasn't. Wait, there's a singing part in this bad recorder version? Uh, uh... <laughs> it's just not, maybe it's just the background. Yeah, probably it's the background, yeah. It's the background vocals. Unknown. I cannot determine if they have any connection. Approximately one month ago, Hitomi Sagan witnessed Shoko in Fuchu Prison's waiting room. It's a good thing. It's a good thing these English voice actors know how, at least know how to pronounce some of the Japanese names. Otherwise, they would right, pronounce it as like, yeah. Hitomi Sagan. 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 Uh, that was quite common. Sagan. 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 Carl Sagan. Sagan. Yeah. I am unable to say for certain that the person she was there to visit was number 89. Yeah. After all, Fuchu Prison houses 2,000 inmates. But number 89 knew Shoko's name. Yeah, from that, 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 that so-called phone call. That must mean that he knew her somehow. It is possible. Peter, uh, Peter Sagan, pro bicycle rider. So who is, who is number eighty nine? As you know, he is an assassin Ooh, with I multiple see. confirmed Ooh. kills. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking shit. What you say? <laughs> <laughs> what you say about being a little fish? I have you know I'm a U.S. Navy suit. I've done what you're talking about. He is currently yeah. serving a sentence at. I've trained in gorilla warfare. Gorilla warfare. <laughs> <laughs> he was in prison six years ago. That's what Pewter told us. Oh my god, a screeching in the background. Yeah, I know. After his fourth murder, he was arrested by the police. <laughs> What's his real name? Unknown. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't know. No such person is listed in the family registry. It is possible he is a foreigner, but his nationality is unknown. Wuhan. However, I believe it is safe to say that he was born and raised in Japan. Oh. Ah, ah. 
Okay. Yeah, not okay, Wuhan. Not Wuhan. <laughs> two culprits behind the original serial killings. <laughs> One was the former chairman of the Kumakuras, Rohan Kumakura. Who decided to kill Lord Zisa a year ago. But Rohan Ooh. committed suicide last year. Ah, I'm not wrong. Are you sure about that? That leaves one culprit still alive. Number 89. But number 89 couldn't possibly have committed these crimes. He was in jail when each of the murders occurred. Or was Correct. he? Correct. However, Possibly. I do not believe it is accurate to claim that he had nothing to do with the incident. So, wait. I know who killed Shogun Adami. If he was telling the truth, his involvement is possible. <laughs> oh my god, why? <laughs> Say something! Let's talk to number 89. <laughs> I don't know if he's telling the truth or if he's full of it, but he's the last one right. send. However, we need not go to him. We can bring him to us. If we plan on sinking with him, it would be more efficient. Oh my god, we're actually sinking with the prisoner of Holy Shit. that? I can. Oh, yes, please. Good. Wow. Cutting through some red tape, 89 was to be brought to the HQ. Several times, boss never showed up. Mm. <coughs> what inhuman thoughts lie within? It's the it's the Meet the Pyro trailer. Oh god, yeah. I thought it was weird for some reason. Hi. <laughs> Gasp! It's a uh, man. Oh, they're gonna kiss now. <laughs> it man. If Rian were here, we say man kiss run, us, man. Run, ooh. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, no, that was his day, cock hitting the table. I need table. you to tell me something. I'd appreciate your cooperation. <laughs> uh, where are you from? Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is a republic in West Africa. Population seventeen million. Uh, not to be racist, but you don't look African. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> The white African. I mean, there are people. I mean, I played Phantom Pain. There are Africans who are like white as white can be. Oh, uh, yeah, the I don't have time for your jokes. white farmers. I, I, I trank them in the face and kidnapped them to Mother Base. Uh. <laughs> do you know yeah, this lady? Yes, I do. <clears throat> About a month ago, Shoko visited Fuchu Prison. Was she there to see you? That's right. What did you talk about? Nothing special. You're in no position to lie. I'm not lying. She didn't come to hear me talk. Then why did she come? To meet me. Meet you? She probably just wanted to see me. But why though? Is it because she a thought? She Number 89. Thought. Your real name. I don't remember. Names are for friends. A long time ago. I don't remember exactly when. Names What's your relationship to her? Snake. I don't need one. <laughs> I'm kidding. She was just a business partner. A business partner? That's right. I was one of the culprits behind a case six years ago. One of the two Cyclops killers. Because it takes two hands to clap and two eyes to see. All right, let's get right down to ah, it. I see what you did there. Two <coughs> days ago, you called Investigation HQ and said, I know who killed Choko Nadami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. We have an agreed Shut the fuck deal. up and tell us. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? <laughs> it's done. You've got a deal. All right, but to so explain it properly, I need Sir, to Sir, you are a terrible negotiator. It might take some time. Well, Is that all right with you? Yeah. I've got nothing but time. Okay, let's, let's hear it then. Started. The story of a lonely assassin. Oh my god, oh, well, this is the right song. Yeah, an assassin. Assassin song. If this story turns out to be like Once John upon Rick. a time, there was a detective full of righteous justice. Let's call him F. F found yes. the evils of the world <laughs> intolerable. Best, best, best F for, F, F for <laughs> respects. No siblings. He grew up in an orphanage since he was F born. He suffered press every F kind of abuse up. imaginable. Uh, this is gonna yeah. be like, it led him to why you get F all the evils of the world. By Asian father. I hope you've, I hope you've cured it? since of a father, uh, Darren. Yes, I have. Yeah, good. But, it, but there's uh, one more song. One day, oh, yeah, okay. skip F it, was though. chasing a thug down at the harbor. Someone yeah. wanted for the assault and murder of women. No, no, no. This soundtrack is appropriate. Okay, I get it. Uh, I'll just throw down my knife. Here. Okay, I will be right back. You lower your gun. <clears throat> Fine. What? I got nothing else on me. I'll go quietly. You know, I have a history with hospitals. I've been going to a special hospital for a while. Even if I get caught, it's all good. I'll come right okay, back out again. What should I do next time? Just thinking about it gets me excited. Oof. This fucking warehouse again. Yeah, that warehouse again. The culprit was unarmed, but F never served a day in prison. The case went to trial for some time, but it was determined to be self-defense, and he was declared innocent. If the truth got out, it would be a huge scandal for the police. People at the upper level were terrified of what might happen, so they had evidence fabricated. F wasn't suspended or disciplined at all. After a while, 
He returned to his job like nothing happened. That was a turning point for him. He was ready to shed the morality that was weighing him down, holding him back. F still wanted justice, and he was willing to dispense it to the immoral one by one. He became an assassin, a lone gunman. No agent, no employer. Come he was his own man. F believed that he was judge, jury, and executioner. But it didn't last nice. long. What the fuck? One day, F got rid of a criminal we'll call X. X was responsible for defrauding and killing an innocent old man for his life insurance policy. Turns out, X had connections. Someone wasn't happy that he died. Rohan Kumakura. Chairman of the Kumakuras. Oh. X was a top executive of the Kumakuras at the time. Rohan ordered his men to find and kidnap F. I've done some research. I know you've cleaned up at least 18 pieces of scum from this earth, but somehow there hasn't been a single criminal investigation. They're all treated as suicides, accidents, or natural causes. Amazing work. I'm impressed. How about you work for us? Of course, you have the right to say no, but it'll be the last word out of your mouth. F was trapped. Even if he somehow survived, he would be looking over his shoulder for the rest of his life. He had no choice but to take Rohan's offer. Thus, F's self-employment came to an end. He became a hired gun of the Kumakuras. Rohan even gave him a code name. Falco. Falco. Named for the falcon. Oh, a bird of prey. 47. Falco didn't quit his job as a police officer, though. He worked as a detective by day, assassin by night, wow. at the will of oh, the like organization. That one, he, works, he works at least 12 hour days then. No yes. sleep. Uh. An ordinary killer with his motive to take <laughs> a life. Not Falco. He did as he was told. One target after another. It didn't take long to destroy his heart completely. That's what cholesterol does. <laughs> Time passed, and a few years back, <laughs> Why kill us, Whisper? Why? Falco, who by this time was exhausted in body and spirit, made a fatal mistake. He missed his mark and ended up taking a bullet to the stomach. Oh, Somehow no. he managed to escape. After reaching a nearby shrine, his legs finally gave out under him. And this is where you met Hitomi, Iris's, Iris's mother, and dated he her had for a no while. strength left. He put his back up against the shrine and let out a moaning breath uh -oh. that he thought might be his last. But at that moment, in his darkening vision, he saw a woman approach him. He watched her take out her phone and dial for help. At the same time, he heard footsteps, footsteps of at least two people closing in. He knew immediately that they were after him. He sprung into action, grabbing the woman and pulling her close, kissing her to keep her from talking. Gasp! Oh, the song stopped. That was the first encounter between it's Falco like, oh, no, there it is. and the woman. <laughs> it stopped as the men ran past. <laughs> no, it stopped as the men ran past, then it resumed as the romance continued. She was a Gas. teacher at some school. It was like she was from a totally different world than him. Yeah, this is he told me, Iris's Listening mother. Listening to her talk, he would forget everything about his line of work. <laughs> she was his only contact with the ordinary, mundane world. Not like, and not your colleagues in the police department? They met in secret a few more times. And Falco felt his heart grow warmer. <coughs> Her smile. Oh my god. Oh my god, Nick. Like a cold glass of water for Falco. Thanks for the deal. What's up, Nick? Hey, Falco man. started to become himself again. His former self. He swore on his life that from then on, he would live for her. So, you want to go clean? Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But. There is one last thing, one final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need oh. you to this mm. uh, Who could it be? Mm. Something, no? could it, who could it be? Rohan handed Falco a picture of a woman and a girl. It was the teacher Falco met at the shrine. And her daughter. She had just turned 12. Why the two of them? <laughs> Good, since the father came out at the right time. Sins of the father. Sins of not a lot. This father, as usual, sins never gave Falco. a reason. Sins of <laughs> sins of and this man. Falco had no intention of carrying out the kill. But if he didn't, he knew that someone else would. He thought long and hard. How is he going to keep them safe and get out of the life of crime? He couldn't find an answer. No matter how hard he thought, he was backed into a corner. So, he decided to call on an old friend for help. And then, bang! Oh, so that's why he shot. He told me. Bang. 
Uh, hello? Uh, no, wait, why did you stop? Oh, I thought he was gonna Why did you stop? What's the connection between <laughs> that and Shoko? Just to suffer. Was that the whole story? You mentioned a detective. Oi, excuse me. Hey, answer me. What do the numbers mean, Mason? This is a Mason? transaction, remember? <clears throat> Until I get a guarantee that you'll uphold your end of the bargain. I'm not telling you anything else. I'll give you half up front, half later. If you want to hear the rest of my story, you better start the release procedures. Once they've cleared, I'll tell you everything. Date, it is unlikely that number 89 will uphold his promise, even upon release. Pewter. Yes? Start the preparations. For what? What do you think? <coughs> the sink. 